Okay, I just got done with the run. Um, but I'm thinking, I'm watching my buddy play WoW, and uh, I'm thinking that uh, uh, what if you uh, what if you had it so that players clipped each other, you know, and that you, you physically couldn't occupy the same space like you do in WoW. Um, All right. And, and like in other games. And, uh, you know, it, it's just like, I, in my opinion, that's just, you know, it makes more sense, you know, and it's just more realistic and it, it then involves more strategy. So that, you know, he, and my okay, friend I uses the term DPS, time. you know, uh, uh, you know, backup. It's like, you know, okay, we're, we are a group who we, we just, dish, you know, we dish out damage. You know, we're not really for combat. Uh, we're not really for healing. You know, and, and that's the other thing is that you just get a ridiculous number of people doing whatever. So, uh, but anyways, the, uh, you know, I, uh, I'm thinking that, you're going to have a value for um, uh, endurance and stamina, you know. So it's, that's a certain thing that uh, or a quality that your character, um, your avatar, can have. And so that's uh, one of the drawbacks of a um, of starting a new character is that you have to. Uh, well, no. Then again, uh, sorry, I'm just thinking of something else. But I'm just thinking. Because you need some sort of drawback for when you uh, respawn as a new, uh, you know, player in uh, the game world. Because, you know, like, I, it's, uh, it, to be a little bit more clear on the concept is that you, you die, you, I mean, and either you're logged on or you're logged off, but whatever happens, you know, you uh, come up to the screen like, okay, you've been killed. And you could even see, like, a screenshot or a uh, little video, backup video. Uh, you know what happened. You know who who came in and assassinated you, your character in, the, in his sleep. You know, or you know who, who attacked him while he's at work. Uh, so you can imagine, oh wow, it'd be some crazy epic uh, you know video to watch. Actually, um, see something else to think about the video games that it's art. You know, it's, it's less about uh, you know money, monetary, and a bit more about art because, uh, and this is the key point of why I'm doing this video is uh, the idea of quest giving. Now. The message board essentially is the quest giver, you know, or it could be the sole quest giver. Um, it could also be the way that just anybody and everybody can quest give, you know, so that uh, you can, you know, it, it acts as both the message board and, you know, because that's, that's literally what it is, you know, it's a message board at a uh, corner. So, like, every intersection of two roads uh, is going to have a message board. You know, per perhaps, or you know, or you, ha you have to have it established, you know, so that we can have stuff that's like off the grid, you know, uh, but it can it can still like be hacked into. In other words, like you know, you can have a, a solo community out in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by forests. There's no roads connecting to anywhere else. And so as a result, there are certain you know, there's certain information that only that community you know that exists, or that you know, the group of NPCs and players that exist in that community have access to. Um, and you could do stuff like encode it, you know, or you could have it, you know, open, so that uh, you know any player who can walk in, you know, can. And so, but that's another skill you can imagine, like you know, decode, you know. Um, so, like I said, you know, just you you just continue to add skills to this game. You know, you just have your uh, your players, um, you know, do th or your your little avatar run around and do something. But otherwise, you know, whatever you think it'd be a quest, you can create that as a quest, you know, because the other ability is that you can program NPCs. You can you know, recruit NPCs and program them to do, you know, various and uh, elaborate tasks, you know, because ultimately the, the thing that matters is just skill, you know, so like even the NPCs are going to be increasing their skill. Like if you could, like I said, you can ins a, a s just spawn a new NPC, assign it, you will build a new community and Bam! It's going to do that. It's going to create a community, and guess what? <laughs> you know, crossroads are going to spring up, you know, spring up, and uh, it's going to develop a message board. And um, and what it'll also do is develop a message board system on its own. You know, because I ideally the NPCs are going to act in an AI, you know, routine. Uh, it's something that you know the the game developers, the programmers have to you know create. <coughs> but I think um, you can do it. You know, fairly. Uh, uh, easily, and you can, you know, in, in such a way that players can uh, get involved in, to, in it too. So, uh, all right, Mike, you feel like talking or listening a little bit? Okay. Um, so, like, what's the big point of joining the game? Joining an MMO? Quests. 
you know, like really that seems to be just the point. You know, you can have the, so the whatever interaction, um, and then there's, you know, quests are basically stuff to increase your experience or to increase your uh, money or increase your loot. Um, and so that's just like, you know, the way a lot of players do it. And so that's, this is where power gaming, power leveling, you know, comes in. Um, and to me, it's like, okay, so what is the point of that? You know, wh why, why spend all this time, you know, create these environments, you know, and just do whatever in these environments? And, and a lot of times it's also like, okay, we've created this one little environment. What excuses can we have for uh, the player to go into that environment, you know, like regardless of which uh, faction he's a part of? Like, um, so it's like, okay, this is, you know, diversion area, this is diversion area one, you know, and it's just like, you know, ridiculous uh, instance things. But anyways, um, I'm of the opinion that, uh, you know, you, you make it so that players can create their own quests. Uh, players are going to have their own loot. Uh, and they have, and the loot occupies a physical space. So they can't go around hauling a, uh, a treasury in their, you know, shoulder sack. Uh, there's just no way, you know, it's like they have to have, there's a physical correspondence to how much wealth they have. Um, and it's either, so it either goes into themselves or it goes into the physical area. And so the other idea is that uh, players can donate money. Um, so like you go to the temple and for every, you know, gold coin you deposit, you get one experience point. So like, oh, okay, you know, well that doesn't sound like a lot, but now imagine <laughs> uh, players are forming guilds and crafting and, you know, manufacturing plants and organizations in towns and communities where they're getting a lot of money. A lot of money, you know, is coming into their hands. Uh, and so they donate that money, you know, to, to basically convert into experience. So, like I said, you know, online or offline, you are generating experience. Um, the, uh... <coughs> oh, gotta quit. All right, so...